Hey guys, it's Shireen aka Halal Girl New York and welcome to the channel. I am a doctor and lifestyle blogger from London, living in New York and I'm currently in my first year of medicine residency in Manhattan. Now in today's video I want to address a really common question that I see all over the internet and that is, is it too late to become a doctor? Many of you may know that in the UK we have to decide by the age of 16 or 17 if we want to go to med school and honestly thinking back that concept is crazy. How does anyone know what they want to do for the rest of their life when they're 16 years old? So that's one of the main reasons why I see people at different ages and stages in their life contemplating whether they should do a complete career change and go back to medical school. And this question doesn't just get asked by people in the UK, I see it a lot here in America too. Many of my doctor friends here in New York had totally different career paths before they finally found their way to medicine and today I want to help you answer the question for yourself whether it's too late for you to go to med school. In order to actually answer that question, I think you need to reflect on why you're even having these thoughts in the first place. Why do you want to go to med school? Once you understand the reasoning about why you want to become a doctor, it makes the answer to is it too late to become a doctor? So much easier because in short it is not too late to pursue your passion and to follow your dreams it will never be too late to do that but if it's not your passion or a dream or you're not going into medicine for the right reasons you might want to take a step back and reevaluate why you even want to go to med school in the first place if you're currently unhappy in your career for whatever reason whether you feel unfulfilled by working in a corporate lifestyle or you don't like the life that a nine-to-five office job is bringing you and you've always really deep down know you wanted to become a doctor then I would say go for it. It is not too late to follow your dreams, it's not too late to follow your passions. When you reflect on why you want to be a doctor, is it for the lifestyle, the money, the prestige, the desire to help people or because it's something you've always dreamed of doing? Personally I would say if it's for money then maybe medicine isn't the right place for you because it's such a long and hard process. If you want money that is fair enough and there is no denying that doctors can make a lot of money as an attending in the US but there are so many fast easier and less stressful ways to make money that I would not bother going through med school just to make money. If you've reflected on this question of why I want to be a doctor and the answer is because you're passionate, you think it will be fulfilling, you've always wanted to do it and it's been your lifelong goal, these are the kind of answers that make me think you are the right kind of person who should be going into medicine. One thing that I think is really important for us to all understand and internalize is that society's timeline that it places on us is complete nonsense. Although society tells you when you need to finish your studies, pay back your loans, get married, had kids, had grandkids. There is no set deadline or timeline for when you should be achieving your various life goals. I feel like we get so bogged down on following the exact timeline that societal pressure places on us that often people compromise their life dreams and goals and ambitions just to make sure they don't veer away from society's timeline. Now I think one question that really puts this whole debate to an end is would you regret it for the rest of your life if you didn't give it a shot or in some people's cases another shot. If it's always been your lifelong dream and something that you couldn't imagine not doing then I think 100% medicine is for you and you should sit down and explore your options. For me although I have a lot of different hobbies and passions outside of medicine at this point in my life I truly can't imagine having any other career. Even though I've only been practicing as a doctor for six months now I can't imagine doing anything else. Even on those incredibly long call days or on those emotionally draining night shifts I still get that excited buzzing feeling inside me when I'm walking home and thinking I can't believe I get to do this as my day job and if what I'm saying to you now is igniting a spark of joy or curiosity in yourself then I definitely think that there is a part of you that wants to pursue a career in medicine for the passion for the joy for the fulfillment that it's going to bring you now I know it's easy for me to say I went through med school a few years ago fortunately by the grace of God I got in on my first attempt of applying to med school I passed all my exams I moved to America, took one year out to study and now I'm practicing as a doctor. So essentially I haven't really taken many gaps in my medical career but having gone through med school, I have seen so many different kinds of medical students. I've seen the ones who have their heart and soul in it, and I've seen the ones who don't. I went to King's College in London, which is a really prestigious med school. I had an amazing time there, and I firsthand saw people who had entirely different careers before they chose to apply to medical school. I had 35-year-old mothers with two children who would study on the weekend while looking after their kids, and I even had a 50-year-old medical student sitting in my anatomy lecture 
lecture class next to a bunch of 18 and 19 year olds and honestly when I reflect back and even at the time I was so inspired by their journey and I hope that these stories inspire you too. Okay so now you've decided you really want to go for it what should you do? Researching your opportunities and your options is so so important regardless of how old you are or what stage in your life you're at no one is going to just fall into medical school you have to be willing to do the research and put the effort in so I would recommend you take some time out look into what your options are see if you have to do any extra courses or go back to school to fulfill some classes if you're in America you have to study for the MCAT if you're in the UK you have to study for the UCAT or the BMAT there are going to be a lot of different steps ahead of you in this journey to get to where you want to be but it's so important that you put in the effort you put in the research and then map out your timeline map out your goal when do you want to apply for medical school is it possible how much time will I have to study for this exam or do I have the finances to apply for that exam so it's important to sit down with your loved ones and figure out is this a feasible option for you is it something that you can go ahead and do now I've said it before and I'll say it again, one thing that I think is super super important to always remember as you embark on this non-traditional route into medical school is that it does not matter what other people are going to say about you, it does not matter what other people are going to think about you and it might be tough at times because it does take a lot of guts, a lot of courage to put yourself out there, do something different and break the mould but I promise you it will be worth it. Another thing that I think is really important to remember is that no past experience and no past career that you might have had is going to go to waste. Every past experience you've had is going to shape you into the kind of human that you are now. And sometimes what I've seen is that medical students and doctors who've had entirely different careers before they got into medicine actually become more compassionate and more dedicated doctors than those who haven't had different life experiences. Remember that your past experiences and your past career, whatever it may be, has shaped you into becoming the person you are now it has taught you life lessons it has taught you dedication compassion humility so many qualities that ultimately are going to make you into a better doctor whether you realize it at this stage or not so one thing i want you to remember if you're a non-traditional medical student or aspiring medical student is that no past experience has gone to waste and i don't want you to look back and regret those past decisions because they've made you into who you are now what you need to do now is look forward and map out your timeline so you can go and achieve your dreams of becoming an amazing doctor. In conclusion, it is never too late to follow your dreams and passions. If becoming a doctor is the one career you can imagine doing for the rest of your life that will fulfill you and make you happy, then I would say go for it. Don't worry about society's timeline or what other people may say. Go ahead and pursue your dreams. And I want to leave you guys with one quote that I saw on Instagram while I was scrolling the other day that really summarizes everything that I'm trying to say in this video. And that is, you're gonna be 35 one day anyway you might as well be 35 and be a doctor as well i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video i hope that it answered some questions and inspired those of you who are still on your journey into becoming a doctor or applying to medical school feel free to follow along my journey on instagram send me messages in my dms my doors are always open comment below if you have any questions about life as a doctor life in medicine or anything else at all i read all my comments and i can't wait to reply to you guys if you enjoyed this video check out my other videos videos subscribe to the channel give it a thumbs up it really helps me out and keeps me going thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you next time